Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to find the radius of a circle if you're given the endpoints of the diameter and then we're going to also find the center of the circle and remember that once you know the radius and you know the center of a circle you can write the equation of the circle, right? Okay, so let's get into this one. So the first thing you want to look at is, what do I have? I have the end points of the diameter because it goes through the center of the circle. So the center is right about there. We just need to know what the coordinates of the center will be. And how do you know the center if you know the ends of the diameter? Remember that the center is going to be halfway between these two points. That's, so it means from here to here is going to be a radius. This is going to be a radius, okay? So all you need to know is just know what this point is. You're going to know the center. And once you know the center and you know the radius, you already have the equation of the circle because the equation of all circles can be written as x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the square of the radius. That's how you find the equation. This is the standard equation of a circle. So we just need to find what this point is, h comma k. Okay, so we have this, we have this, but we want to know this. Well, from your geometry or from your algebra one, you know how to find the midpoint of a line segment. Remember the midpoint formula? It tells you that the midpoint, the midpoint of x1, y1, and x2, y2, okay, so if you have two points x1, y1, and another point x2, y2 is given as x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. This is the formula that you must know as a geometry student, as an algebra student, whatever you're doing in math, well, if you have a line segment, the midpoint of the line segment, if you know the ends, is just at the beginning to the end and divide both by two. That's it. Okay, it's like going from zero to 10. Well, what's gonna be halfway? It's gonna be zero plus 10 divided by two. So that's what we're gonna apply here. We're gonna find the midpoint and say that H comma K will be the point five plus negative one. That's gonna be five minus one over 2 comma this is going to be negative 7 plus 1 negative 7 plus 1 over 2 okay and what does that give us this tells us that hk is um, 4 over 2 comma and what would this be well we know what 4 over 2 is it's just going to be 2 so there's no point writing that uh, multiple times so let's just do the math this is five minus one, that's four divided by two, that gives you two. And what does this give us? This is negative six over two, that's negative three. So the center of this circle is the point two, negative three. And that's what this point is. Okay, so we already know what H is and we know what K is for this formula. The only thing that is still uh, missing is the radius. Well, you know the radius. Because if you know this point, so I'm gonna mark this point to be um, 2, negative 3, 2, comma, negative 3. So the radius is the distance from the center to this point. So what's the distance between two points? Okay. The distance formula says that d squared, the distance between two points, is equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. That's the distance formula. And now we know that the distance between these two points is what we call the radius, the distance between these two points. So we're going to say the radius squared will be equal to, so for the sake of this, let's call this x2, let's call this y2, let's call this x1, let's call this y1. You notice I am not using this point because we're looking for the distance between this point and this point. If you use this point, you'll be looking for the diameter and then you have to divide your answer by two, but I don't want to do that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and find radius. So I'm replacing D with R because the distance is what we call the radius. 
So let's put our x2. Um, that's negative 1 minus, what is x1? Minus 2 squared plus, what is y2? It's going to be 1 minus, what is x2? It's negative 3, okay? So that's what we've got here. Um, squared. Well, as you can see, this is negative 3 squared, which gives you 9 plus. This is 1 plus 3, that's 4. Squared is 16. Well, that's going to give you 25. Oh, so r squared is 25. And see, this is the equation of a circle. This plus this equals r squared. We already got r squared to be 25. We know what h is. h is 2 and k is negative 3. So what's the equation of the circle we're looking for? Let me put a box here. Well, the equation we're looking for right now is x minus h, which is 2 squared plus y minus negative 3, which would be plus 3 in this case, is equal to r squared. What is r squared? It's 25. I can put the 25 here. Equals 25. Well, this is the equation of this circle if all you know is the pair of endpoints of the diameter. If that's all you know, then you're good. You see how that works out? Hope you learned something in this video. If you did, make sure you like it, share it, and leave a good comment in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, never stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.